and I like to serve these with my homemade pineapple pepper sauce. Just a nice little dollop of that. And the recipe is available at CaribbeanPod.com. In this sort of modified version of Accra or fish cake or saltfish Accra, um, things are a little bit different. And I say modified because we are using the leftover um, saltfish bulljol that we had and you know typically this is made with um, salted cod this one here is made with pollock you can find that recipe on caribbeanpod.com and youtube.com slash caribbeanpod the whole idea here is showing you how to make another recipe we've already done the fry aloo with the leftover saltfish bulljol this time we're using the saltfish bulljol to make the sort of fish cakes or acras We've got flour, and this is all-purpose flour. We'll need some black pepper, milk. You know, typically when you make this the traditional way, and I have that recipe on CaribbeanPod.com. If you're trying to get the original recipe, head over to CaribbeanPod.com. They would use water. I like using. Or when I say they, I mean my ancestors, my mom, my grandma, her, and and so forth. They would use water, but I find using the milk gives it a nice little texture and and more clean tasting. Just my take. Some baking powder and two scallions. I've already got scallions in here, but I've got two, two more because I love that punch of onion that fresh scallions bring to the game. If you want to add anything else in there, some fresh thyme and, and, and anything else, you can certainly do that. But this is the ingredients here for now. And I like making this batter and allowing it to sit for about half an hour to allow the baking powder to do its thing. If you wanted to put half a teaspoon of yeast, dry active yeast in here, it will give you that more pillowy, soft, nice effect as well. In my mixing bowl, I'm just gonna add the flour, followed by the baking powder. I'm gonna hit that the fresh ground black pepper. I like it coarse because I don't mind biting into pieces of black pepper. If you don't like it coarse, obviously you will, you know, have more finer grind. Just gonna take my whisk and give that a good whisk. Just to mix everything thoroughly because I want that baking powder to mix in into the flour. Next up, I'm gonna add the scallions to the mix. Then in goes the saltfish bulljol. And that saltfish bulljol has garlic, tomato, onions, um, some olive oil in there, the salted fish, and some other ingredients. You can head over to CaribbeanPod.com, as I said earlier there, and you can grab the recipe off there if you want to do it this way. Just gonna hit that a little mix, like so. And then we're just gonna add the milk if you choose to use water. I mean to say, do your thing. Just gonna get a feel for things here, and if you need to add more water, yeah, we're gonna add just a tiny bit more water in here. I mean, no water, milk in here because I don't want it this thick. In goes that extra milk in there. And we're just gonna keep, you want a sort of a thick pancake butter. Just gonna add just a tiny bit more of that milk. And I'm just gonna whisk it in. The reason why I didn't add any salt to this is because the remaining salt in the salted cod or the salted fish we use in the saltfish bull jar will be enough to season this. Notice the consistency we have there. It's been about half an hour. So now I've set up my station here. So I've got the batter over here. I've got my vegetable oil heating in a wok. And I like using a wok or a pot with high sides when it's splatter. Yo, I love this stove, but cleaning up stove after, not all that nice. So the high sides, any little splatter, well, it will keep it to a minimum. And over here, I have a cookie sheet with a rack on there with my tongs. And I don't like using paper towels for these. You know, when you fish it out, you put it onto the rack. It allows it to, to air dry, well, kind of drip the fat onto the, onto the pan. If you put it on paper towels, I find where it sits on the paper towel, it can become a bit soggy. So we're just trying to bring this oil up to temperature now, and then we're just going to spoon on table, a tablespoon each into the hot oil. Run a little test there. My oil is about 350 degrees, so I'm just going to spoon these on. Like I said, one tablespoon each. 
it will hit the bottom there and then it will start rising as soon as it starts cooking so I'm not going to crowd my pan too much I'll just show you all what I did I'm just going to flip it now with a fork like so flip it because we want even frying on all sides and it won't take long you notice how they puffed up nicely there that is the the sort of magic of using the um, baking powder will give us that nice and you can go darker if you want I just find that as it cools down it will darken up a little bit more nice crispy and pillowy on the inside with that salt fish inside there but if you never had it you'll want to make that happen in your life soon yeah so I'm just putting them onto the you know, one more flip I just want a little bit more color putting them onto the the wire rack and I'm just gonna keep working them in batches hit them a little shaky shake out to there if you wanted to salt them hit them a little dusting of salt when they come out of the hot oil there you can do that but I'm on it too big on the whole salt scene so yeah the salted cod that or the salt fish that we have in there that will be enough for me so I'm just doing it in batches as I said yeah up soldiers listen if you enjoy this recipe I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing if you've made the recipe take a picture and send it to me email address down here I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it and tag me on Instagram at Caribbean pot I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today Irene hi Irene and I like to serve these with my homemade pineapple pepper sauce. Just a nice little gallop of that. And the recipe is available at CaribbeanPod.com. Roasted pineapple with, with scotch bonnet and all kind of garlic and all kind of niceness in there. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you all in the kitchen here with me. Soulfish acres is made with, or soulfish cake or fish cakes, whatever you call it. Um, made with leftover sawfish bulljaw. Again, the recipes can all be found on CaribbeanPod.com. I do hope you guys get the opportunity to give this one a try. Irie, Irie. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.